Hi guys, my name is Marianne Opes and I'm the Complex Abdomen Specialist at Regents Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota. And today we're on the Fistula Fun Friday YouTube channel, but we're going to talk about something a little bit different. One of my other favorite things in the whole world, other than fistulas, is helping patients that are paraplegics. And, you know, when they prepare for a flap surgery, it's such a big deal for them because it gives them the freedom to get back in their wheelchair and get back to life. And so I have an example of a patient that had right at the incisional line where two incisions met a tunnel. And I'm sure you've seen this in your practice as well. It's such a tiny thing, but it can turn into a total flap failure. And so I'm just going to give you my technique. I hope it helps you in your practice. This is talking about negative pressure wound therapy with installation of VASH into a small, thin, deep tunnel. We call it the gopher tunnel technique. So this is my patient and he's got two incisions kind of coming down where they brought the flap down and then this hole. And it was about four to five centimeters deep. The problem is that they may have a foreign body at the base, and that's what happened with him. So after I put him in negative pressure with installation for one round, so three days, and then I took it down and he really didn't change at all. So at that point, I'm pretty sure that I need to have the surgeon come back and look for that suture ball. He came back, he pulled out a suture clump, and then we were off to the races. So what I do is because it's so hard, even when they're sidelined, to get the fluid to the base of the wound. And this is almost a chronic wound. We're, we're like 40 days into this flap recovery. And so I like to make sure I get the fluid all the way down to the base. So what I do is I take a piece of the thicker foam that comes in the Veriflow Cleanse Choice kit. And then I clip a hole all the way down and then I put, I cut the top off of the tubing for the installation and I shove it in here. So it's kind of like a, it's like a, a gopher tail. It's like a gopher tail and it has installation. So it gets all the way to the base. And we have a lot of gophers in Minnesota and they're so cute. So we decided to call it that. This is what it looks like when it's deployed into the wound itself. And you can see I'm using Dermatec drape, which is very comfortable for the patient for my bridging um, drape. And then I just bridged him with a big piece of Veriflow dressing. So the instill port, follow my lead here, the instill port comes down here and goes all the way into the hole right over here, correct? And then the negative pressure is up here on his hip. And I like to run the installation port right over the top of the bridge. It, it's a cushion for the tubing, but it also is safe for the patient. And then I usually will put on a, a Meplex border dressing over the top of it. And we did that for two more dressing changes. And then he totally uh, closed by his post-op day 51. So this is, this is this nice young man pretending like he's trying to escape from the hospital. That's his father in the elevator who's pointing that he should get back to the hospital. And this is one of my dearest friends at work who is pretending to hold him in place. So it's kind of a funny picture, but I just wanted to know that he did get discharged and has never been readmitted. So I know that he's doing just great. We have a demonstration. And so I hope you enjoy that. So what we're going to do is this instill port, right? We're just going to cut it right off. So now we just have a tube, this tube, that's hooked to the orange thingy, right? So this is your instill port. And then I cut a chunk out of the gray foam and made it into what I'm gonna put it into. And obviously you have to tailor this to the size of the hole that you're putting it into. You can make it shorter, you can make it longer. And then you're gonna take one of two of these scissors, this one or this one, you're gonna go into the foam and you're gonna clip as you go in. Clip, clip, clip. And I kind of do it, I flip it and clip it, <laughs> mostly because you get kind of some false passageways sometimes. And so like, I just kind of keep turning it and reinserting and clipping on my way in. And you don't want it to poke out the side. You're really trying to protect that patient's tissue by having it just against foam itself. And then we're just gonna take our little tube and try and talk it into going into the the uh, foam itself. And so there, that's all you need to do. You can tailor the edges to make it perfect for your patient's wound. And then you're gonna put this into the wound and you're gonna bridge up just like you saw. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the gopher tunnel technique. And if you like these kind of YouTube videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can go to complexwounds.com if you want more information. There's an email there too if you have any suggestions or anything you want to see. So have a great day. Thanks for joining Fistula on Friday and we'll see you next time.